from all around the region were coming to celebrate the Passover festival. When they heard, the, when the crowd heard Jesus was there, they went out to greet him. Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. Be quiet. Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. Don't bother Jesus. Yeah, he's got more important things to do. What do you want me to do for you? Lord, we want to see. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Lord, I can see. <laughs> We've been healed. Can we follow you too? This made the Jewish rulers angry. They wanted the people to follow them and not Jesus, so they promised to kill him and Lazarus too. Go to the village up the road. There will be a donkey and a coat tied there. Untie them and bring them to me. But they may think we're stealing. If anyone says anything to you, tell them the Lord needs them. All right, if you say so. The disciples did as Jesus told them. They brought the donkey and they placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. There was a very large crowd that placed their cloaks on the road, and some cut palm trees from the branches and placed the cloaks on the road also. But this is how the kings were welcomed into the city. Anyone wants to be my disciple, he must follow me. And my follower under those who follow me. Jesus rode into the city. As he came in, he was praying like a victorious king. He came in on a donkey and not a horse and said something very strange. The hour has come for the Son of Man to die. <coughs> he must be planted in the ground and die to produce more seed. My follower under those who serve me are very troubled. I want to ask God to save me from dying on the cross. <clears throat> but my whole reason for coming to earth is to die on the, on the cross as a sin offering to God. Father, may I honor and glorify your name. And he heard a voice from heaven. It said, it is honored and glorified again. Can you hear that? It sounds like thunder. No, it was an angel. You have heard the voice to help you believe in me. God's judgment is near. Jesus had to tell them that he was going to die and that he was going to be lifted up on the cross. Jesus, how can you die? Christ loves and the Messiah lies from here forever. You will have to lie a little while longer. Put your trust in the light so that you become sons of the light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus hid himself from them. Sadly, a short time after, the same people cheering will be jeering and screaming, crucify him. They did not understand that God's kingdom was different from earthly kingdoms. They wanted Jesus to rule over their earthly enemies. But God knew mankind first needed to defeat Satan, sin, and death, our true enemy. The Bible tells us that Jesus willingly went to the cross. Dying in our place, he found joy. That the punishment for our sin, he found joy in dying on the cross. That taking the punishment for our sin because he loves us that much. and telling us about the dogwood tree. Uh, this week, as I looked out my back door and I saw that the tree was blooming, so I asked my children and a few other people, did they know the real meaning or the legend behind the dogwood tree? Well, 
the legend behind the Dogwood tree is that this tree was used to make God's cross, Christ's cross. And the blooms on the cross, each one of them is two short ones and two long ones. And they have brown spots on that represents the blood that Jesus shed for us. And in the middle, it has a crown of thorns in it. So that's what the dogwood tree symbolizes. It only blooms two weeks before Easter and two weeks after. After that, it does not bloom to the next year. Uh, there's a little poem that goes along with it. It says, in Jesus' time, the dogwood grew to a stately size and a lovely hue. Twelve strong and firm, its branches interwoven. For the cross of Christ, its timber were chosen. Seeing the distress at this use of their wood, Christ made a promise which still holds good. Never again shall the dogwood grow large enough to be used so. Slender and twisted it shall be, with blossoms like the cross for all to see. As the blood stains the petals, marked in brown, the blossom center wears a thorny crown. All who see it will remember me, crucified on the cross from the dogwood tree. Cherished and protected, this tree shall be. Remind everyone of all my agony. It was just before the Passover festival, Jesus knew that the hour had came for him to leave this world and to go to the Father, having loved his own. Lord, are you going to wash my feet? You don't realize what I'm doing. But you only stay in late. You should never wash my feet. If I don't wash your feet, you can have no part with me. You should never wash my feet, but also my hands and my head also. He who bathes is only to wash his feet. He is to be completely clean. You are clean. However, you are not all clean. Jesus washed the disciples' feet as an example that the servant is not more important than his master nor the messenger is not more important than the one who sent him. At this time, we're going to have a full wash service. I'm going to wash all the members' feet. And in return, we're going to wash the whole church. Feet.
back on. desire that I eat with them. They didn't realize this would be our last meal eating together. They had no clue. They didn't know that one would betray me. One would deny me. They had no clue. And I just wanted to eat with them. I humbled myself, I lowered myself to wash their feet because if I couldn't wash their feet, they couldn't be with me. Hmm. And it's my desire they be with me. Because when they realize, they don't realize that my body would eventually be broken. Hmm. And they would eat it. Hmm. I would actually shed blood hmm. and they would drink it. Yeah. They didn't even know it. They were clueless to the whole idea. Clueless. They didn't know I was about to die. They didn't know I was about to die. They had no clue that I would die. But in three days, I'd get up again. So, this is my body. That was broken for them. Not only for them, but guess who? For you. Take it and eat it. Put me on a tree. Put thorns, a crown on my head. Pierce me in my side. Ditch the blood. Droppings came out. But they had no clue that my blood still works. <laughs> that my blood could take their black souls and make them white as snow. They had no clue that I was the ultimate lamb being sacrificed for their sin. So this is my blood that was, that was pierced for you. Take it and drink it. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, but not as I will, but as you will. So you, so you mean could not keep watching me for one hour? Keep watching and praying. I'm sorry, Master. We'll keep watch. <laughs> My father, if it cannot pass unless I drink. Your will be done. Your will be done. Are you men still sleeping? Get up. Let us be going. The one betrayed you is at hand. While he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, came up in the company by a large crowd with swords and clubs, who came from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now he who was betraying him gave them a sign, saying, Whoever I give, he is the one. Tell me about it. Friends, you have come for us. No, don't take him! <laughs> 
You're not going to take my Lord. <laughs> Stop. No more of this. Just so that I might have eternal life. 
Bye.